guys, it's Renee. So today we're going to be making some cookies. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I found this idea on the internet. I think it was on either Instagram or Pinterest. But I'm just going to start rolling my dough. I do have the recipe on my channel. And I'm just going to roll it using my rolling pin with my space bands. And I do have a DIY on this space bands as well. These are going to help you have the same thickness in all of your cookies, which is going to help them look more professional and most likely they are going to be ready at the same time, all of them. As far as for the cookie cutter goes, I'm just going to be using this leaf cookie cutter. I do not own a cookie cutter that is heart shaped, that is small enough. I only have this one, too big for what I'm going for in this one. And this is just to let you know that when you're, when you want to go for heart shaped cookies, like owning a heart cookie cutter is not necessarily a mess. You can make, you can make it work with some other cookie cutters, even a round one. You can use, uh, oval shaped ones. Just use your imagination and just use a knife after to cut the excess. So once I have all my cookies cut it, like that, I'm just going to just kind of like use the back over the bottom part of my cookie cutter to just hide a C on the top of my cookies. Once I have all my cookies cut it, I'm just going to go with a knife and I'm just going to cut kind of like the bottom part to make the bottom part more like a UB. Like hearts are more pointy towards the end, towards the bottom part, if that makes any sense. Then I'm just going to kind of like do the same on the top part. And then I'm just going to cut the top parts of my cookies using my knife. At this point, I'm just going to go with my fingers and just kind of like curve the top part and just make the shape as I want it to be. Of course, if you own a small cookie cutter that is heart shaped, you don't really need to do all this. Once I'm done and all these um, guys go to the oven for about 350 and just no more than 2 8 minutes. Just keep an eye on them because every oven is different, but rolling your tray in the fourth minute just so they bake evenly. So once my cookies are dry and set and ready for me to move on, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be mixing some gold laser dust with some almond extract just to dissolve the whole thing so I can move on and paint my cookie. Grab a brush and I'm just going to paint my bear cookie after it's baked and just before applying the icing. And this is just going to give the cookie or the background just a nice shine. Okay, so once I have done that, I'm just going to take my roll icing. And I do have a recipe on my channel. And I'm just going to work on my um, decorated part, which is pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. I use um, Ziploc bags for this. A lot of people use like piping bags, piping tips, but I feel more confident decorating cookies with Ziploc bags. I don't really know why, I guess I started one day and that's how I learned to apply my um, realizing, but everybody has their own kind of like way. I'm just going to kind of like smooth my icing, which was more on the runner side, a bit more loose. I'm just going to take my scrap tool. I do have a DIY on this one. I made it myself. It's pretty simple to make, honestly, and it's going to save you money. Follow the shape of my cookie pretty much and just let it dry and set. And this is pretty much it for the cookies. They're pretty simple to make, but again, super effective because of the shape, the colors. So yeah, I just want to share this idea with you. Let me know in the comments if you like them. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share it. Also, don't forget to check out my blog and I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye guys.